If you're applying to UK medical school as an international student, there are some differences that you need to be aware of. The typical five steps to applying to medicine are the same, but there are additional five things that you must master if you want to get into the most incredibly competitive course when applying as an international. The first thing you need to be aware of is the competition ratios. For international students, it is probably the most difficult way that you can get into UK medicine. And the average success rates are quoted for about 6%. So it means that of the five key steps to get into medicine, you need to nail every single one and do really well. Often people who succeed as an international student get some help in the form of a tutor or some sort of guidance that they can rely upon to make sure that they're doing very well in all the aspects of the application. Also, there are certain universities that are better for international students to apply to, partly because of the numbers that they allow for international students, and secondly, the com competition ratios that those specific universities have which make them more favorable when applying as an international. If you want to know exactly what those universities are, in the next few weeks, I'm going to be putting out a list of all the universities that you should consider if you're applying as an international. So the best way to make sure that you don't miss those is to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of those important videos. If this is your first time coming to the channel, just to give you an idea about who I am, my name is Dr. Hilton, I'm a doctor and a dentist and have got into medicine and dentistry in the UK, probably in the most competitive ways that you can do it. And since halfway through my dental degree, which I did first, I've been helping people to get into medical school and have developed an online program that helps people do that. So all of this information is the stuff that we teach because we specialize in international students and started that way. So all of the stuff I'm gonna tell you now is what we teach our students to help them get in and turn that 6% ratio into more like a 90% and over ratio. The second really important thing is to make sure that you have the right eligibility. And that all means about grade equivalents. So Usually they are well versed. Most medical schools will tell you a quote for international baccalaureate because they're very familiar with people applying with those qualifications. With those of you who are applying from a schooling system that's less well known in the UK and what we would probably call a more obscure exam system, it might be that you maybe need to speak to the university themselves and actually find out exactly how your grades measure up. Some universities are really good for telling you in each specific country what they expect. For example, I'll show you on screen now uh, Queen Mary's and University in London. They are really good for giving you country specific places and what kind of grades they're expecting for that. But more often than not, what you will have to do is what you call transcribe your grades. So you go to a uh, authority that is going to take those grades and translate them to what the equivalence is if you were sitting A-levels. If you're not familiar with the A-levels, those are the exams that students take when they are in their final year of school before they apply to university. Prior to that, two years before, we sit something called the GCSEs, and they're also very important that are used and direct medical schools as to whether they're going to offer people places. But probably the best advice I could give in this area is if you are unsure about whether your grades will be accepted in a particular medical school or for any medical school for that matter of fact, take a university, ask them, speak to their admissions staff, they will be very helpful for telling you whether you are eligible. That will generally give you a good idea whether you're eligible for other universities, especially if you go to the more demanding, more competitive ones that demand higher grades such as the London universities or maybe Oxford or Cambridge, they will give you crystal clear guidance on whether you would be accepted. The third thing that you need to bear in mind is that you will need a visa. Now, for students applying to medicine, a tier four visa will do, and that's really all you need to worry about. One of the biggest factors that impedes international students applying to medicine in the UK is the fees. They are very, very large for anybody outside of the UK. So EU or non-EU, you will probably have to spend anything from 15,000 pounds to 50,000 pounds in one academic year. So when you're expecting a university degree to maybe be six years potentially, that's quite a lot of money. And then also on top of that, you have to factor in the living costs, your accommodation, all of that stuff to make sure whether that is affordable for you. A lot of people ask me about scholarships, which is a video that I'm making at the moment and will be released in the next few weeks. So another reason to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it as I roll out this international application series. Another thing that you need to make sure you have before the first day that you start university is some sort of proof of English language proficiency. So that can be anything from the IELTS where you need a 7.5 or above, but it's only if you come from 
a non-English language speaking country. So for example, if you come from South Africa where English is the first language, that isn't a problem, you don't have to prove that, especially if your exams were sat in English. So that's why applying to medicine in the UK as an international student is a serious time and money investment. So consider it very closely before it's something that you think that you want to undertake. On top of those kind of five differences that you get, you still have to absolutely nail all of the five key steps of how to get into medicine. If you want to know exactly what those five steps are, check out this video here where I go through them in detail and tell you exactly how to score very highly so you are in that top 6% of international students. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over in one of those videos.